The real inspiration behind uh, the creation of Build Zimbabwe uh, was uh, the fact that I started feeling more and more that uh, it was very, very difficult for someone in, in our country to end up with a story like mine. <laughs> you know, I was born in, in Rhodesia, and yet uh, you know, I was able to build my, my life, uh, obviously uh, with the help of many others. There was an enabling environment in spite of uh, the <laughs> obvious oppression that we were going through. And what I'm seeing right now, in fact, we could, uh, when we're growing up, uh, you went to school, you, you knew that there was a job at the end of, the, uh, of your education. Uh, you knew that if you tried hard enough, you could kind of build a, a business. Even, even during those times when there was segregation, uh, the, uh, the, the, the country where we're living in, in had a stable currency, even during those times. Uh, services, uh, there was, there was uh, a measure of functionality even in, the, in, in services. The postal services worked. We had one of the best commuter services in this country, urban commuter services in this country. Electricity worked, uh, you know, and, and things like that. So I, I started feeling increasingly that um, it was very, very difficult for someone uh, born uh, in our country, say, two decades ago, to actually have the same story as, as, as myself. I also started feeling as if, you know, we as Zimbabwean children were being driven to find um, uh, places to go and a lot of our lives was stolen as a result, you know, we, we, families are separated, husbands and wives are separated and so on, simply to make a living. So you can imagine the impact that this dysfunction in our country is having on our social fabric. And uh, for a long time, many of us, you know, have said, ah, well, you know what, you know, since I have my own option and so on, uh, you know, I don't care about what's going on back home. But uh, Nige, there's a direct cost to all of us, you know, every one of us who actually turns their back on doing something and investing in solutions in our country still pays a cost. So I got to that point in my own personal life that I felt that no, uh, you know, this cost is too high, <laughs> you know, and I need to do something, uh, not just for my children, but also for me. And finally, I would say, uh, Nige, uh, at Independence, there are people who sacrificed uh, a lot, and some lost their lives uh, for the idea of freedom, uh, for the idea of a country where e each and every one of us, irrespective of color, uh, race, tribe, uh, agenda would actually be able to fulfill our potential. That is what uh, those people who went to war fought for. And I just don't believe that that is where we are right now as a country where we've created that environment for everyone who is a Zimbabwean to feel like this is their country and this is their heritage. So that's really the inspiration behind Building Zimbabwe. Well, you know, it, it actually became a social movement by default because I just started messaging, <laughs> you know. I just started expressing uh, for myself, really, uh, you know, what I felt uh, was um, wrong in our country and what needed to happen. And then the message resonated with many people. So, like most, you know, sometimes social movements start not because you have designed it, <laughs> not because you have planned it, but simply because the message has been resonating uh, with as many people um, as, as ours did. Uh, so, um, you know, when we continued and it grew and grew and grew as a, as a social movement. Uh, but, you know what, at the end of the day, um, we can talk and talk and talk about what is wrong in our country. We have to engage in the process of actually bringing about the change that we want. And as far as I was concerned, yes, we can conscientize people about the problems, but we need to have a mechanism to effect the change that we want. So uh, at that point, when we had a critical mass in terms of, uh, you know, even people, uh, you know, supporting us and so on, we felt that it was time now to transition uh, to a political party. For these and other stories, visit our website, www.263chat.com. Follow us on Twitter, at 263chat. And like our Facebook page, 263 Chats.